You are a genius. But wait a second. How do you know that? Everyone is a genius. We just often have been shamed for our gifts and strengths. And so we don't tend to develop our uniqueness in this world. Most of us don't know what that is. So we've invested the next four podcasts into exploring your genius. In a world where achievements and accolades motivate us to do more and be more, we're often left wondering, is this really it? Deep inside, you know there is more to life. You're ready to leave behind the old push your way through and claim the deeper life that's calling you. That's where we excel. We're your hosts, Stephanie Allen and Marin Oslak. And this is the Soulful Leader Podcast. Sit back and relax as we share the shortcuts we've uncovered to help you make shift happen. Hi, welcome. So here we are at the Soulful Leader Podcast, and we are going to jump right in with energy. How many of you ever feel like you just wish you had more energy to get through your day? Me. (laughs) Right. (laughs) You know, and, and that there's certain things, whether there's it's people or tasks or something that just sucks the freaking life out of you. And next thing you know, you're like, no, I don't want to do anything. And you're just completely gonzo and you're reaching for the fridge for the worst type of thing to help pick you up, whether that's a drink or food or the just the bad choices, right? So we thought this is really powerful, very, very powerful to be able to to tap into your energy and to have more energy and why that's important and to look at what drains you and what gives you life energy. So I love that. And, you know, last week we talked about profiling systems and whether you're an Enneagram this or a human design that or a disc this or whatever, and they're useful. They're super useful. It just is, how are you using them? And they can pull from your energy or they can add to your energy. So we're going to go through the four energies that are the foundation of the profiling system that Stephanie and I use, which is called Wealth Dynamics, and help you to find more energy for yourself throughout your own day. And I'm going to even back this with this, why why Wealth Dynamics? And for me, just for my, myself personally, you know, I have taken a lot of the the Myers Briggs and the disc and the the colors, and I've done a lot of the profiling because I was so curious. I wanted to know who I was, and I didn't want to always have somebody else tell me who I was. I wanted to be able to be in choice. And what's interesting is most of us have been shamed, or blamed, or judged in some way about being our natural flow or our natural energy, and I think. What we're what we're alluding to, Marin, is that we get all of these profile tests and we just don't know how to give them how to get energy from them. How do we how do we plug into them? And so for me, the wealth dynamics, because it's based on the I Ching, which is also the foundation of Chinese medicine, you're looking at all these different energies and how they work together. And that's a real key for me, togetherness of collaboration and like what is mine to do and what might be better off either delegated or automated to something else and and looking at what really sources energy with me so we're going to start with the first energy well, yeah and i'm just wanting to add to that real quick is i think it's one of the most powerful profiling tools for leaders and for teams and that's why because we're both involved in business have have our own businesses our own teams and that's where our passion is 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 supporting leaders whether you're leading a, a team that's your family or a team that's within you or a team that's outside of you um this is really a helpful that's one of the reasons that i chose pr- specifically wealth dynamics is that it is for leaders for businesses and for leaders so yeah so what is- what is the first energy that we want to talk about? I think that starting with dynamo energy would be the best. And the reason that I say that is if you think of the first signs of spring, when everything is just like the little shoots are coming up and there's all the newness, that's dynamo energy. And right now, I know 
when you're listening to this, this is it's winter for us right now. So I'm, I'm I think I guess I'm kind of excited about spring, and it's also where everything starts is that dynamo energy. So it's what that means. Like thinking of plant, planting your garden coming up in the springtime, you're starting to think about, well, what is it that I want to plant? What is it that I want to grow in my life? Yeah. This would be dynamite energy, like creative, creative structures, imagination. Exactly. And that's exactly what it is. Um, it's the, 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 di the people who relate to dynamo energy are the creators in the world. If you think of the, you know, the Elon Musk's or the, um, uh, Rod, um, Richard Branson's of the world. Uh, they are the ones, Sarah Blakely, they're the ones who have these brilliant ideas. Their heads are in the clouds. Their brains are going a, a, a mile a minute with new ideas. There's, If you've ever felt like you have more ideas than time, you're probably dynamo energy. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So Full disclosure, I am dynamo energy. And I know that's often been a problem for me in my life in that I have all these ideas. How am I going to, how am I going to get to all of them? And it took me a long time to realize that not all of them were mine to do. <laughs> and often, you know, people who are dynamo energy, they have all these great ideas and not necessarily, like you said, not always the ones to actually do them, but they're always coming up with new ideas and they're not necessarily following through on them because that's a different profile of the follow through and taking them out and letting them kind of, you know, take action and growth. But yeah, but a dynamo energy is the one who plants a seed and kind of yes. gets the ball rolling and comes up with an idea that probably has never, ever been thought about before and continues to generate more and more and more and more ideas. So oftentimes the the dynamo person on your team is the one that has got the the big vision. They've got the mile high like outlook on things. They're planning things way into the future. They have oftentimes they have no sense of timing, meaning that <laughs> <laughs> they may be late a lot. Um, they can never here's one of my things is I have a hard time realistically estimating how long something will take in my mind it never takes as long as it does when i actually sat down to it so i'm like oops i just there's i see large vistas of opportunities and it's hard for me to actually contain that into a like a very grounded here's what it's going to take to make that happen you know and what's interesting in Chinese medicine, you know, the, the, the wood energy, the wood element is governed by gallbladder and liver, which has a lot to do with, um, well, like think of wood, wood goes onto the fire, it fuels a fire. So there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of energy. And the shadow part of that is that there's not a lot of patience. So I hear mm -hmm. what you're saying. It's like, you know, not showing up on time or, you know, having so many things to do. And it's like, that your sense of time is just totally eroded because you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't think it was going to take this much time. It's like that can kind of go into, I'm so impatient. Why isn't this just not taking life? And why aren't people grabbing on this and, and running with it? Like, it's such a great idea. And often, you know, dynamo energies are the ones who are also um, projected onto of like, you need to slow down. You know, your, you, your ideas are too big. That'll never happen. They're not realistic. When actuality, of course, they're not realistic, but that's why that's why a dynamo energy is creating it, because it's meant to go out there so that it can grow legs and roots and ground and become something. You look at Steve Jobs, I'm sure when he came up with the iPhone, people thought, well, why would anybody want that? Like, are you nuts? Like, nobody really needs that. We're quite fine with our Rolodex and our TV and our computer and our, you know, <laughs> all the things, our watches. But yet he, he literally assimilated all into one thing. The visionaries. And the visionaries. And it's like, that's, those are the ones who do move our societies forward. They do challenge the status quo and they create something that has never been seen before. Yeah. And I, 
the the question that's behind so you mentioned wood so there's an element that's going to be associated with each of the energies that we bring up and then there's also a question that's associated with them and the question associated with dynamo is what what yeah, like is what are we going to do what's happening what what's next what's you know like that's the what question. if what yes. if we could you know what if in a, in a it, positive way so what I also find interesting, and as we go through each of the the energies, there there are pros and there are cons to each every and every one of them. We tend to go into the shame around like, oh, like for me, oh, I'm always late. I can't, I don't understand timing. I'm not good at that, right? And we oftentimes don't celebrate the highlights, the things that we're really good at with it of like, well, okay, those are tr those are true things. I also bring great vision to the table. I can see things. I get ideas about stuff. I can see things further into the future. Um, well, you're not just seeing the things at the end of your nose. You're seeing so far beyond that. Yes. That, that, that because the vision is so good of what is possible for the future, many people don't see that. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we can see what's coming or what could we could actually make happen so that it creates such a an up a, you know up in an uplift and an inspiration to say oh my gosh well that could happen that could happen and what, that is what needs to happen to make that what? happen right exactly yeah so for each of the energies they're going to have their strengths and their weaknesses and what i found is that stick with us as we go through all of them because there will be this, well, I want to be that one. <laughs> I also, more importantly, it's not just what you want to be. It's really checking in with yourself and saying, well, who am I though? Where, where are my strengths? And yeah, you know what? There are some weaknesses with it and that's okay. Because somebody, the whole reason the whole reason that there's weaknesses with any one of ours is because we're not meant to do it alone. And we're not meant to do it all. We're not meant to do it all. So we need to have teams of people around us that have the strengths where we have weaknesses. And that's the beauty of the whole system because it works together. And so we will be going through each of the energies and looking at what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses, what are the questions that, one of the cool things that I love about this is that I can listen to people talk and get an idea of what energy they are. Are they asking what questions are they asking? Who questions are they asking? Why question? You know, it's like, what kinds of language do they use? You know, so it's a, it's an exciting thing. So you can go to our website because we have a free assessment to be able to find out what your energy is. So you don't even have to wait till next week's come out. You can go and listen to it now. That's awesome, Stephanie. So you can go to, if you're interested in that, go to our website, which is the Soulful Leader Project. And we've shortened that to tslp.life. So TSLP stands for the Soulful Leader Project. And remember, it's .life, not .com. Great. So next week, come back and join us and we'll explore a different energy. Thanks so much for listening. And that wraps up another episode of the Soulful Leader Podcast with your hosts, Stephanie Allen and Marin Oslak. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to dive deeper, head over to our website at thesoulfulleaderpodcast.com. Until next time.